morning. Good morning. It's Wisdom Wednesday, family. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I see you guys tuning in and coming on. Go ahead for me, like and share. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for the love. Hey, Tiff. Guys, as y'all are coming on, like and share for us, like and share. It is a beautiful day. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I started my morning off with the guys on. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And it was on fire this morning. My sister, Charlie Green, brought a whole word. She was like, I don't have a title for my message. I'm like, that thing spoke for itself this morning. So good morning, guys. And at the end, she just entitled it simply Wisdom Wednesday, because guess what? God will give us the wisdom that we need. So good morning, Marilyn. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Angela. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'm excited today because y'all know on Wisdom Wednesday, if you're new to the Freedom by Design uh, movement and ministry. My name is Dr. K and every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we come on at 7.30 a.m. so that God can just use us. We can share a inspirational message, whatever it is he downloads, we're just gonna be obedient to that thing. So on Wisdom Wednesday, which is one of my favorite days because I get an opportunity to um, speak with some beautiful soul, someone who's going to impart knowledge and wisdom. They'll share their testimony and where they are in life and, you know, how God has been using them to do all these great things because we often see people post pictures, but it's like, what's the backdrop to that thing? You know, we never know when somebody needs to hear about us. So good morning, everybody. I see you guys coming on. So good morning, mom. Hey, Sabrina, I will not belabor it. Hey, Patrice. Do me a favor, like and share. Hey, Gifty, thank you for that word this morning. I love you, sis. So good morning, Dr. Abby. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to introduce um, to some and you know reintroduce to others who may know my sister because I did tag her already on this thread. Um, I met her through my best one, my other best friend, because I have two, my son's godmother. She actually entered my life through a business opportunity. So we became business partners and we clicked because she had an entrepreneur spirit. She was a woman of God. And I'll just tell you guys, she is a minister. When you hear this beautiful voice, you, you're gonna have no choice but to smile. We have done some entrepreneurial things together because she's gonna talk to you about her, her um, line and I'm not gonna not do it uh, justice. I'm gonna let her make sure she shares it in its totality. But guys, please help me welcome my friend, my business partner, none other than the beautiful minister, Consuela Smith. Consuela, you there? I am here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. You look beautiful and gorgeous as usual. And I have to say the same to you. I'm looking, I'm like, okay, she got her jewelry ready. I'm, I'm like, I'm glad I got up and put some clothes on this morning. Always. You never disappoint. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here on Wisdom Wednesday. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be here. I appreciate you so much. So Consuela, for um, the people who may, you know, they may not know who you are, do me a favor and just um, tell them who you are, where you're located, because that's always important. And um, then we'll kind of go from there and we'll give them some background. Okay, all right. Well, of course, I am Minister Consuela Smith. I am the owner of a Queensy Consuela, something just happened. It went, I don't know, what, did you touch something? Because it went all the way blank. Um, you, How's that? Quiet. How's okay. that? Yes, there we go. Okay, so let me try, let me try it again. Okay. <laughs> Consuela Smith, and I am the owner and founder of a Queen's Essentials Organic Soaps and Natural Body Products. I am based out here in Snellville, Georgia, and I am mainly online. Um, since the pandemic. However, before the pandemic, I was I was doing uh, events and kind of going out and doing vending events. So I am so proud of where this journey is continuing to take me. Amen. 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 So um, this morning on the God Zone, I'm just going to say we had some technology snafus, so we're not going to worry about it. We need to do the headphone. We're going to do the headphone and we're going to roll because we are not 
going to um, block this message, this word that's about to come forth. So Consuela, um, Queen's Essential, I remember, you know, supporting your brand and your products and all of that. But as I've been watching you, I've been seeing some, you know, like you have been evolving. So tell us how Queen's Essential came about, because have you always been an entrepreneur? Like, what were you doing previously? Okay, so definitely I have not always uh, been an entrepreneur what basically happened is that I have a family history of reoccurring skin conditions, right? And so what I decided to do is just to use, I'm a master cosmetologist by trade. And what I decided to do is just basically go back into my studies and my skills of the derma and just learn to help enhance our skin the natural way. So reoccurring skin conditions, that means eczema, acne, psoriasis, dermatitis, sensitive skin, all of those things that we kind of go hand in hand in, in having trouble sometimes. Also with like, you know, allergic reactions. I know that usually you, you know the history, you occur allergic reactions sometimes when you're small, but nowadays over 30% of women and people are having allergic reactions after their 30s. And so I am here to help definitely just kind of help heal and empower and know that you can still be beautiful in the skin that you're in. Mm. And so what I decided to do was I decided to quit my corporate job. I stepped down on faith. I stepped out on faith in 2016, and I decided to go ahead and start my own business. Now, let me tell you, it, it was not easy. When I say stepped out on faith, that means stepped out on faith, meaning I had no savings. I had no supporters. I had nothing behind me whatsoever. And so what I decided to do, and I said, okay, God, just tell me what to do. And I allowed him to lead me. Now, I'm not telling everybody, to, you know, to quit your job. And I'm not telling you to, you know, not have nothing saved. I ain't trying to do it. I ain't try, I'm just trying to tell you what God told me to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but what I did is this allowed him to develop me into the person that I am. So what I started to do was I started to spiritually get into what am I going to do for God? How am I going to serve God? So my prayers every day and my affirmations was to say, you know, I am who he says I am. I can do what he says I can do. And my goal every day was to just continue to know the voice of God, to um, follow my assignment and to walk in my calling. And so that was my everyday prayer. And still today is my everyday prayer and my affirmation. And I'm telling you, Trina, when I went back and listened to your uh, Freedom Friday, girl, when you said everyone isn't going, oh my God, you had me running around this office about 1800 times. You hear me? Oh my God. And you, and you explained it, you know, how, you know, how your followers, um, and you know, how you have your followers and you have your consumers. Come on now. And, and so what I did was as I was going through the journey, I was asking God, I said, I said, what's going on? Why am I not excelling? Why am I not, you know, succeeding in my business? And he said, because you are doing it alone. Ooh. He said, you are doing it alone. And I am not telling, you can't be going around thinking you can do this thing by yourself. You better say. It. Okay. Okay. So it's like, he said, you are not following me. Mm. He said, you are not following me. And I said, oh my God. I said, okay, I I'm ready. Let's do it. You know, I, I, I freed myself. I'm releasing myself to you. And so he started giving me all these divine connections. And you, I mean, they were so divine, Trina, that you knew that it was nothing but God. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, oh my God, things started to just pick up I started to get the knowledge I started to get the support I started to get the blessings when things were going down God would bring them right back up and that's the thing like you said it ain't about knowing people 
but it's about knowing who God is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like, he just made that thing just turn around and just to kind of push it forward a little bit. Cause girl, you know, I would talk until you get, cause I'm, I'm looking at the feed and they're like, I, I see my girlfriend Sabrina she's down here in Miami and she's like oh wow this this is a word for me stop trying to do it alone Sabrina because yes. a lot of times we will and you've already you've already spoke and some of the things that you're saying you know like understand some people are sitting and they're looking they're like okay what am I supposed to do am I supposed to leave am I supposed to stay but you let God order your steps and in doing that even when the beauty about it is um Consuela when you stepped out in 2016 even when you stepped out and it got a little shaky because he said for you to step out and you were obedient to it, even when it got shaky, he still provided for you. He still, as my sister Charlie talked about this morning on the God Zone, she talked about, you know, how you find those dirty coins and pennies and we have them in our car and they need to be cleaned off and polished and restored to their luster. He still, his grace and mercy yes. just does when you drift off, I'm going to wipe you back off. I'm going to make you shiny and I'm going to put you in front of the people that you need to, or I'm going to put the people in front of you because those divine connections come on. And the ones when we're trying to go out and do it, it's something about walking in a room that you know you don't have no business being in and they all over you. You're looking like, wait a minute, I was just trying to walk into the room and just see if I can get a little something, if I can just get something that might fall off the table, pick up a little nugget. But when you walk into the room and he's like, uh uh, you're not sitting on the outside of the um, ring or the room, you got a seat at the table. When they pull the, t- the chair back for you to sit down and you're looking like, well, wait a minute. Yeah, when that divine, those divine connections, that right there looks different. Followers, consumers, that thing, that's that's a whole Come word on. right there. Come on. So I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm listening, and I'm like, I remember when, you know, doing your products and everything, and you, you know, explaining about eczema, because it is a, a condition that's, that appears to be much more prevalent, you know, in today's time. And I, I noticed how your business and just you in general have been evolving because I've seen your posts, you know, I follow you on Instagram as well as on Facebook, but tell us about, you know, what else has been happening? Because I know some things have been happening. Talk to us. Yes. So what God has led me to do, he said, no, you're not just going to just sell products. You're not Mm. just going to heal other people's skin. You're going to use your master cosmetology and your ministry to be able to endure and notify of self-care and the importance of taking care of your skin, right? Because our skin is our largest organ of the body, right? And so many things could happen. Our skin is for protection. And, you know, we go through a lot of things, especially during this pandemic, that we accrue a lot of things on us physically. And so with healing the body, taking care of our skin naturally, even so much in-depth stress that can cause a wear and tear on your skin. So what God has led me to do during this pandemic, and let me tell you, my business has done the most revenue during the pandemic. So let me tell you, I'm here to tell you, no matter what season that you're in, it's not about the people you depending on. It's about depending on Jesus. Come on now. So I'm telling you. So during this pandemic, I was introduced to uh, a, a branding of course. I really wanted to know, get people to know who is a Queen's Essentials? Who is behind it? Who is this person? You got to let people know who you are and you can't do it by yourself. So God sent me a team to help me expand. And I was talking on the phone uh, with the brand marketing specialist and I got off that phone call. Girl, he told me that price. I was like, God almighty. <laughs> I said, oh, I was like, God, I was like, oh my God. I was like, but you know what? I said, okay, I'm going to get back with you. Uh, I'm going to let you know. And around 1145, I received a text from a girlfriend that I had not talked to in a couple of years. 
She said, hey, sis, I'm reaching out to you to text you to, you know, I know it's late, but I just want to let you know that God says no matter what it looks like to stick to it. Mm. And I called him that next day. I said, okay, I'm ready. Okay, so tell me what. <laughs> and so with the branding and with the photo shoots and with the marketing and things like that, those divine connections, also uh, a, a man of God, these teams are also women of God. They helped me be able to expand to do my DIY videos, my promo videos, my skin consulting, me being able to bless others to show other skincare people that want to get into skincare, how to start their businesses. And it, it has been amazing. And then I got honored to be featured in Voyage ATL magazine. I've yeah. also received some additional calls in speaking and also doing some sessions, some coaching sessions, some conferences. So I'm telling you, it has been, I am truly blessed. And I take care if we weren't on this call, I'd be running right now. But, but you know, it. I'm, you know, from, you know, from the waist up, I'm, pres you know, I'm good, you know, but if I get up, you know, I have some little. Oh, a little jogging pants on, you know, I just, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, listen, Consuela, as I'm looking at the thread, I see, I have a lot of ladies that are on, that are part of Freedom by Design that, you know, they're like, okay, I'm listening, I'm tuned in, and gentlemen as well, and I see Tina with Moolah Cosmetics and Tina, well, she's a friend. She's also a business partner with our um, business and she um, has her own cos a vegan based cosmetics line. So she's like awesome words. So in that thing, again, what's in your house? She went from, she still does cosmetics to she found her sewing machine in the pandemic and wow. started making masks and has a thriving wow. mask it cuts the mass business that surpassed the makeup in the middle in the midst of COVID. So when you start talking and you say, you know, you made so much money, I can sit here and I'm thinking like, we didn't launch whole books and did well. I no speaking engagements, none of that, like in the midst of COVID, like so much occurred. I can um, sit back and think at the beginning of the year, we had to do a detox, physical, mental, yes. spiritual to just get ourselves together. You know, our word in my home this year is alignment and making sure that we are totally aligned with him. Otherwise we can't, it's, it's certain stuff that won't happen and I'm okay and at peace with that. That's right. I understand that That's right. timing has to be everything. So we will be obedient in these small things so that when we're, when he pushes us out there, he knows that we'll be able to do what we need to do. So sis, I'm excited and um, so grateful because it's nothing like his grace and his mercy and his favor shining on you. And you are definitely shining right now. I see you. I've been watching you. I'm excited for you. you. You know, the, um, how we begin to evolve and elevate and people are like, well, what's going on? She looked different. Is it her skin? care that's God that's skincare too but that's God and her shining coming all the way through so I'm excited you know within the next um where are we now we're already in February what's coming up and where can people um find you because I heard you talk about that you're doing coaching now you mm -hmm. have DIY videos that you're using that you're branding to promote yeah. yourself yes and product I've used your products and I know that they're willing like I said so many people with eczema that is a condition that is yes. just like so prep I I would hear it when I was growing up like one of my friends out of all the people I went to high school with might have had it but now it's almost like at somebody's baby is born and you're like mm. oh yeah they have eczema their skin it's like what's going yes. on yes yes Absolutely. Yes. So, of course, yes, I do have the DIY videos coming up. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, and that would be a underscore queens underscore essentials. And also, my website is a queensessentials.net. You can go to that website. You can click on that link in the top right hand corner that says, Ask us about your skin. You can um, 
ask any questions that you would like. We can set up a skin consultation. If you just are just interested in knowing how to start your own skincare business, I will be happy to tell you a little more about that. Um, I also have a 21 day skincare regimen journal that's coming up. I'll post that as well. Um, I'm also on Facebook under a Queen's Essentials as well. And it's just some awesome things, some good free tips that are coming your way. And on my DIY videos, I give away a lot of my secrets, but I don't look at it as like, you know, oh, you, I'm just giving away, they gonna take your stuff. No, this is spe specifically for you. And hey, if you don't feel like doing it, hey, you can go to a Queen's Essentials, it's okay. I don't mind telling you how to love the skin that you are in. You know what? That's so important. I'm glad you said that because so many people feel like, oh my goodness, you know, I can't share, you know, what I'm doing because then they're going to take it. But I, you can't, nobody can take from you what God has given you. Come on. And what we, um, what we neglect sometimes to realize is that it's room at the table for everybody to eat. Yes. Just because Tina may be doing makeup doesn't mean that uh, Consuela can't do skincare. This person can't. It does. It's so much, and we can learn from one another. And that's yes. crucial because sometimes it's like, okay, well, how did you do this? And I know people call me and say, okay, Katrina, how long did it take you to write the book? And I'm like, okay, understand. The book is a little bitty piece, but if you just want to know about the book, I can tell you about the book. But the time it took me to write the book might not be the time it'll take you to write yours because. God gave, he told me to write the book. Right. I didn't just get up and say, I'm going to write a book about myself. I, right. I wasn't going to expose me, but you know what I mean? He was like, no, you're going to have to do that. So guys, when we have people on and they're willing to help us, because there's so many people in so many different places and they're like, how can I do it? You know, what did you do? And sometimes it's just a matter of hearing what you did because it does, people look at it and they're like, dog, they do photo shoots and that must cost a lot. And man, they're doing this and they're doing the flyers then. Who's doing that? Sometimes you can get, you can pay for a social media manager or you can manage your own social media. It depends on what your needs are, where you yes. are. A branding team. Yeah, in our, I would say in our worldly mind, it might seem like, God, that's a lot of money. I don't want to pay a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred, five hundred, whatever it might be. I don't want to pay that, but you want the results. Yes. So if you want the results and if you're aligned with God and He has yes. put you into this thing, He is also, and you gotta have faith, you gotta trust Him, you that's gotta right. know me. That was my sister three words for the year. You, he is going to provide. So you don't have to worry about that. Just like you got that confirming word. I know I received some confirming words and it's like, dang, how am I going to make this happen, Lord? But you told me that it's going to be okay. And I promise you, I, it's a, a phone call, a text message. You know, uh, my sister talked about this morning, Tanisha on God's on. She was like, I got a check in the mail for a dollar. You know, I, I can remember times I've gotten checks for $32 and 11 cents. Like that's so random. Why I'm getting this right. check, Lord? but it deposits into my account and the little adds up to many. So don't yes. discount what he's doing in and through your life. That's as right. long as you're moving and taking one step and put, putting those steps in front of the next, God will do his part. I promise you, I've seen him at work over and over again. Consuela, again, I'm so excited for what's um, about to happen with Queens Essential, the direction that you're going, your obedience. I thank you for it. And I thank you for, you know, um, spending time with us on this morning and having that giving and sharing spirit, because when we give, he's going to bless our giving yes. a hundredfold. And we don't have to do it thinking, okay, well, if I do this, God is going to, we don't have to, because he is faithful. He is yes. just. He is yes. going to provide and take care of us. So Consuela, if you had to leave um, us with anything this morning, what would it be? Because I did put um, Queens, uh, queensessential.net. I typed it um, in the thread and I'm going to also put your Instagram information as well. Okay. So yeah, just my thing to say is that, again, no matter what season that you are in, do not expect a person, but only know 
God. And I say that to say, I am a living testimony of mm -hmm. knowing the voice of God and following what he says. And God will, God, was, God will speak to you in so many ways. He'll send somebody that speak the same language as you or that follows the same language and be like, hey, Shawty, you know you need to do this, right? You better say it. He'll say it in a regular voice and, 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 and you'll know that it's God. So continue to follow your dreams. You're never too old to start your own business. You're never too old to achieve what you wanna do. Continue to love yourself, stay confident and content within yourself. And as long as you are believing and knowing in the faith, you will be guided accordingly, I promise you. Amen. Amen. And thank you so much. As I'm looking at some of the comments, Kenneth out in Texas, he was like, Consuela was blessed by God and is blessing others um, with the gift that he blessed her with. He's like, great job. I see my sister Tiffany, she says, man, no, God, yes. So we got to say yes, we got to move. And um, I appreciate you, Sabrina, sharing um, your, your message or nuggets with other people because it's not for us to have it and hoard it. He wants us to share it. And um, guys, I just want to thank you um, from the bottom of my heart for tuning in on every Wisdom Wednesday. I'm excited about what God is doing in this season, this year, the people that will be able to share and touch us because we never know where we might get a word from we never know what somebody else is doing or going through you know we see people and we look at the picture and we think okay they out of touch they out of reach but you know what there are people out there who want to help there are people who are out there that want to share so all we have to do is take the first step and watch God work so I love you um, again Consuela thank you for joining us and thank blessings you. over you your family your husband your business and your children and I look forward to seeing you soon bye-bye God bless you